Hey everybody, uh, my name is Andrew Neal. I work at Shared Streets. Um, and I'm talking about road closure data today. So what is Shared Streets? We're a nonprofit and our main goal in a nutshell is to share data between cities and other sources of data to keep data and cities moving. Who is Shared Streets? Um, Kevin and Molly are the co-directors and founders. They're here today, they're raising their hands. Um, I think Emily's giving a talk simultaneously right now, and Morgan is somewhere. I don't think he's in here today, but uh, uh, they're all around, so say hi if you have any questions. Oh, Morgan just walked in, so <laughs> say hi if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, so what do we work on? Um, we have a few pilot project areas. So map inflation, closures, TNC pickup drop-off, mobility metrics, curb inventory, speeds, and safety. Um, in my head, I bucket them as sort of dynamic or like private data. Um, and static or public data. Um, that's just for me to sort of remember who works on what. Um, and they're all really interesting projects um, that I'm really not super equipped to answer a lot of questions on, except for uh, constructions and closures, which is uh, the thing I'll be talking about for the rest of the five minutes I have. Um, that's a very good vine if you've never seen it before. <laughs> it's, it's like one of the best vines. Um, so road closures are hard to communicate across apps, um, and cities need a ways to express that authoritatively. Um, I just searched on Twitter like a week ago, like, oh, road closure uh, wrong or something, and somebody in Bristol was like, oh, no, road closures are not closed 24 hours a day. You can use the roads during the day. It's just like during this predefined period. So it's like a difficult thing to, to share effectively out to all consumers. Um, they occur almost daily, almost everywhere. Um, cities do know the locations, times, and durations one way or another, um, and data formats do exist, uh, such as SIPs. But, there's always but, um, they occur more regularly than a typical update of street network data. Um, cities need a way to express that data authori authoritatively, so you know, they know when the closure starts and ends, but you know, they need a way to say that, hey, we're saying this. Um, and the tools to create the data are consumer specific. So our solution is trying to solve those problems uh, all together. So um, we made an open source web app to create the data. We focus on cities without like a GIS based closures process, uh, just to start with. And we're creating data in common formats uh, to make sharing easy. So right now it's GeoJSON and SIFs. Um, and it's maybe hard to see in the back, but uh, so for this tool specifically, um, we're leveraging OSM, and our reference IDs can be linked back to OSM IDs, um, and I'll explain, I'll explain what those are in a minute. Um, and we handle sort of graph normalization. So I'll do a quick demo, or uh, I've a recorded demo, um, of what using the tool is like. So I'm gonna click the draw button, um, and I'm gonna select the street right outside, search for a matched reference street segment, found it, going to say include intersections, set the overall range for this weekend, since we're having a state of the map parade, which I think I spelled wrong, I did. Um, it's an event, and it's close to everyone except pedestrians, because it's a parade. You can see the output in GeoJSON or SIFs, um, and click download, and you can share that to uh, your, your server that you're serving that uh, closure information to, or however you want to get that data out. Um, so I'll walk through quickly the stack that we're sort of, I've built upon to make this work. Um, from the bottom up, this is a cone I made. I made it in Google Slides. I'll open source it if everyone's interested. Um, I'm very proud of it. The, uh, so the sort of at the core of it is for, oh, you can't see it, but um, at the core of this is uh, OpenStreetMap or, or any base map that you want to bring. Um, we're using OpenStreetMap because it's the best sort of global network that we've seen um, for streets. Um, and on top of that is our referencing system, which takes OSM and turns it into a sort of reference, uh, linear, linearly referenced road network. Um, and the way that works is, you know, when maps don't match, how do you describe a closure? You know, if it's on somewhere on one street and on another different map that doesn't match, how do you do that? Well, shared streets enables that data to be exchanged. Um, and then sort of a layer on top of that is our shared streets JS library. Um, which you can just run npm install in shared streets if you're familiar with JavaScript, or if not, the documentation is available at that link. Um, and two of the sort of core features that uh, it handles that uh, we leverage for road closures is line matching and point matching. So as you saw in the sort of video I had when you click in a line to sort of say, I wanna close this segment of street, shared streets.js is the thing that's doing the processing to find you the, the sort of linearly referenced match. 
Um, and then at the very end of it is sort of just the application I built. Um, or any app that you want to build. Um, so for us, it made sense to build world closures this way. And that was um, sort of the culmination of uh, the entire stack. So yeah, that uh, that does it for me. I guess questions at the end, but uh, I'll I'll answer them if you have. Thanks.